Hey everyone, today I want to show you this super cool After Effects tool called Squash and Stretch, which is a new extension created by the folks over at Mammal World. And essentially what this is, is a smart keyframe assistant. It allows you to easily add behaviors to layers and instantly create organic animations in no time. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, you can download a free version of Squash and Stretch down in the link below in the description. Now I'm going to be giving away one pro version of Squash and Stretch, which comes with a ton of extra features. It's priced at $99. To win, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment, go over to my social media, give me a like there. There are links down in the description for everything. Okay, let's get started. So this tool is very, very easy to use. Once you've got it installed, you can open it by going to Window, Extensions, and then select the panel here. Now I have a beach ball, and I want to bring this beach ball to life. I want to, let's say I'm, I want to make this beach ball bounce. So how can I do this? Well, using this squash and stretch panel here, I can do it in just a few simple steps. So I'm going to grab this beach ball. You'll notice there's no keyframes here. I'm pressing the U key. This is a, a, a simple still graphic. So now with the layer selected, I'm going to go over here and select a behavior. I can just click right on the screen here. That's going to open up this gallery of behaviors. This is really cool. I have a preview of all my behaviors here. Very, very cool. And the free version comes with 10 uh, free behaviors. The pro version, I think, comes with something like 61 behaviors. It's really cool. Okay, so I found the drop behavior over here, and I'm going to select that. And now I get this preview. Now there's a variety of different parameters here I can adjust. I can flip it horizontally, vertically. I can rotate it. There's just a ton of options here to really tweak this to get it the way you want. I can adjust the intensity of the squash and stretch here. I can turn that way down if I want. I can turn the oomph of it down. And you'll see I get a live preview of how that's affecting our animation here. But I'm going to leave, kind of leave this at its default of 100. I can adjust the timing here. Sometimes with certain behaviors, you can have them start at the, the beginning of the behavior, or the, the start of the behavior, or the end of the behavior. So this is set to end of behavior. I need to position my playhead where I want my ball to finish bouncing. I'm going to select a two second mark. And now also, these come with stock sound effects. So I can select a sound effect here. And again, the pro version is going to come with a lot of additional sound effects. So now I have my layer selected, I have my settings honed in here, and I'm going to select apply. Now that's going to immediately apply our sound effects here and our animation. So as I scrub my playhead, you're going to see that my ball is now having a drop behavior. So let's just play this back. Okay, very cool. Just like that, within a few, within two minutes, I applied this. Now let me grab this layer here, press the U key, and then full screen this. Now look at this. Imagine if I had hand keyframed this, how long that would have taken. Would have taken forever. So now this animation still needs a little bit of work, and it's super easy. I can go quickly, add a motion blur. I can go down here and kind of reposition it by just grabbing these position keyframes, positioning this down so that it bounces, kind of lands right at the bottom of the frame. And now look, if we play this back. Okay, so that's how easy it is. Let me give you one other really quick example. So let's say I'm working on this fictional project for the 24 Hours of Le Mans race in France. I have this title graphic here, then I have a simple little car graphic. This Again, this is a still image graphic. So now how can I quickly bring this to life? Well, let's go look at our behaviors here. Okay, let me grab this slide in wheelie so we can have our car kind of come in here. Let me adjust some of the parameters. I'll turn down the squash and stretch a little bit because we don't want our car bending all over the place. I'll move my playhead over here. This is when the end of our behavior. And then I'll select a sound effect. And now I can apply. Okay, now let's see our animation here. <laughs> Just like that, we've created a quick little car coming in. Now let me, let's add some motion blur, see how it looks now. Beautiful. And again, if you look down here at the race car layer, 
you're going to see there's a ton of keyframes added here that would have taken uh, quite a bit of time to animate this by hand. If you want to play around with this, you can download the free version of Squash and Stretch at the link I provided in the description, or you can buy the pro version for $99. The pro version comes with a variety of extra behaviors. I, I think it comes with something like 61 behaviors and a number of additional sound effects. Now again, this might sound cliche, but this is a tool that's great for beginners and professional AE users. Beginners can use it to create simple animations quickly if they don't have any knowledge of keyframing, and pros can use it to you know, work on a project that has a tight deadline, or they can use it for inspiration and brainstorming. So this is just a really great tool. There's a number of additional features I didn't even touch on here, such as the text editing capabilities here. You can split text layers into characters, words, and lines. You can create pre-comps and crop the content size. You can stagger layers, set work area to behavior duration, and even create parent null layers. Again, I'm gonna be giving away a copy of the pro version. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment, and like my social media channels. All right, I'll talk to you next time.